King Fragrances House Overview. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Today I want to do a little house overview on the house of King Fragrances. Now, I have never dabbled into this house. I think they're a somewhat newer house, but um, they seem to have lots of different fragrance options. They seem to have been doing this for a while. And to be honest, there's a lot of styles to these houses. And for some reason, I feel like I resonate a lot with this house. Just the name King Fragrances, I really like it. It's something that I would go for. And just the whole vibe of it, it just seems like it's made for somebody my age and I'm just so far really really liking it so I got seven samples here and to be honest they were all pretty good I'll try to get into the little nuances there again it's not going to be as in-depth as I would if I was you know in individually reviewing each one of these fragrances but I'll try to give you you know what I got trying these and then I also looked up what they were supposed to copy and then I had to re-smell them to see like with that fragrance in mind do I kind of get what they're going for so instead of looking through his line and picking a few out that I liked I was kind of interested in the top sellers and anything unique all right guys let's start off with speak easy now this one is probably the most likable out of all of them it just has kind of like a niche I want to say sweet spicy type of smell um, when I looked it up, I found out that it was copying Jazz Club, and I'd never owned a bottle of Jazz Club, but I've smelled it several times. And this seems more niche and a little bit higher projecting than something like Jazz Club. Jazz Club, for me, danced a little bit in between the EDT kind of smell and almost the niche kind of smell was in the middle. This one, in my opinion, smells more niche. It's, like I said, the most likable, the most kind of right down the middle, but it smells like a niche, sweet, spicy. I do like it. Agent 007, now this is a straightforward tuxedo clone and I really like tuxedo. It's actually one of my favorite kind of niche scents. I did get a good compliment through a mask wearing a, <clears throat> I did get a good compliment through a mask wearing a tuxedo clone before and I just find that it's actually kind of something that's a little overlooked but at the same time, it's very unique and it smells very good and that's no different here. Real quick with all the King's fragrances, they kind of have this really nice projection probably my favorite style of projections where it's not overly full but it's noticeable and it's got just a hair of transparency and it's also kind of going towards a cologne i find that some fragrances they're kind of going after just a smell like i want it to smell like this i found like the king's fragrances they had a little more in them to make them smell like a cologne and I found that the original tuxedo had a little bit of a balmy quality, and I find that that is gone here. I would say it's not the most straightforward copy, but I really, really do like it. And when I was spraying a couple on each hand, the tuxedo was punching me in the face, or the Ancient 007 was punching me in the face more, much more than the other fragrance that I had on. Okay, Brotherhood. Now this is probably the most unique out of all of them. Um, it is supposed to copy I'm sorry if I'm butchering it, but Nishane Ani, let me know down below if it's pronounced like something else. I think I have heard of that fragrance, but I have never ordered a sample. So this one's got this interesting mix of a likable, sweet style niche fragrance, but also something challenging in there. And I find that the likable niche barely overpowers that rougher or different side of this fragrance, but I actually do like it because it is, it's just enough challenging to where it's not too much and still retains that niche style sweetness that I really do enjoy. And this one is definitely the most unique out of all of the fragrances. Okay, Loki. Now I actually really like the name of this one. This is actually a hybrid of Sauvage EDT and YSL Y EDP. Whenever I've smelled Y, it's just been very, very safe. Every time that I've smelled it, it doesn't smell bad, just smells safe. I really do like Sauvage, but this fragrance is actually really unique. Probably one of the only ones that I want to spray just so I can, I can get my nose on it for the review. It's good. It's different. It just, for some reason, doesn't have that much unique kind of character to it. It almost smelled a little bit niche when I first smelled it. Now, it doesn't smell like bad, but it almost smells a little bit less niche when I'm smelling it now. This one just comes off to me a little simple and bland. Again, I'm not somebody who really likes uh, YSL, YEDP, or really has a lot of experience with it. 
The original Sauvage has much more unique character than this fragrance, although I don't think it smells bad. Okay, Fireside. Now this is actually the first one that I sprayed. To me, I actually like the idea of a Fireside fragrance. I think there was the same brand who makes Jazz Club. I think they had something called like Buy the Fireplace or something, something similar. And I had smelled that fragrance, but I don't really remember too many nuances to it. This fragrance is actually just really nice uh it's it's got a little bit of likability but then also as you would expect there is a little bit of challenging roughness because it is supposed to be burning wood but i find it you know just like the brotherhood to have this kind of balance of just enough complexity and challenging to make it not super easy super sweet and just super likable but then enough of that likability packed in to where you never get too much of that off-putting vibe and it's just a really nice, pleasant blend. It just smells very good, but then there's also a little bit of that fire in the background, a little bit of that challenging wood. And I also looked up to see which fragrance this one copies, and he wrote down Fireside for me. And when I was looking online, they had fire and other fragrances, but I didn't see one named Fireside. If I find out that it does copy something, I'll put it down below. But I actually really, really like this for a Fireside fragrance. I wish I could try that by the fireplace again to see if that's what it's copying. Okay, Seven Deadly Sins. Now this one is apparently supposed to copy Nejma 7. I'm sorry if I'm, I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, but Nejma 7, Nejma 7, something like that. Another fragrance that I have never smelled, I have never tried that brand. I feel like I've heard of it, but I can't say for sure. And I'm actually really surprised because this one 100% reminded me of Ultra Male ultra mile whatever it is and i would almost think whichever one came first this fragrance or ultra male they were 100 percent copying each other when i first sprayed this i was like oh it's ultra male and i haven't worn ultra male in a while i'm like man like you know i really like this fragrance you know so i'm looking it up and i'm just shocked that it's just another niche fragrance like this just smells 100 percent like ultra male or or sim or so similar that you had to have been copying it you know but it smells really good, really high quality, really you know juicy, almost purple smelling, really like Ultra Male. That's what it smells like to me. And that one is Seven Deadly Sins. Okay, Aquatus. Now I actually tried this Aquatus on my first round of spraying. And I gotta say, I liked all these fragrances to a certain degree, but this one seemed the most like a watered down Invictus clone or just something along the lines of a nice, friendly aquatic you know close to something like invictus aqua that's what it smelled like to me but actually this is supposed to copy the most famous version of aventus which is like the zz13 or 13 zz one of those two and then it is also supposed to be a hybrid of 2016 invictus aqua now i don't know if you are familiar with those fragrances but both those fragrances those specific ones were hyped to the moon you know invictus aqua 2016 has just this legendary status and same with the classic um, 13 zz creed so it's actually interesting that they're trying to blend both versions and i actually like both fragrances so let me just get one more spray so i can be 100 percent with you because i did spray it but i i don't think i've really studied it and after i learned about what it copies Okay, actually this smells different than when I first tried it. It's actually good for me to retest this one just now. It's actually very, very good. Uh, I smell more Aventus than I do Invictus Aqua. And I think when I first smelled it, I smelled more Invictus Aqua than Aventus. But that one's growing on me, guys. That one's really growing on me. Maybe I'll have to do a little uh, review of it. I know I don't have too much juice here, but I might have to do a review of this one. I almost smell none of that super sweet Invictus-y like orange. It's almost like a juicy orange and versus like in Aventus has almost like a, like a must, it's slightly musky pineapple. So I smell more of the Aventus, but you could tell it's something different and I'll be almost interested to see if there's times where it dances between both. So anyways, guys, that's been my little house overview of King Fragrances. I also did get a little one ounce vial or something really small of their Aventus and of their Layton. And I really like those fragrances. I've just smelled about a million copies of those and they smelled good, but I'm almost interested to see 
you know, some of the more interesting things that they've created, as well as these hybrid blends. I feel like the hybrid blends are just absolute money and they're just kind of like the best way for a clone house to mix up fragrances that they already have. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think of King Fragrances. Let me know what other King Fragrance I should get down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I could not do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.